the pace right now of potential change is really great. The potential for us losing our way may also be great. But I do find this period very exciting. Um, I, I enjoy sort of seeing that there are new ways of interacting with other people, of bringing people together, and of, of gathering information. Learning in the 21st century is about skills. It's not about the content anymore. Um, it's about teaching how to learn and focusing on how kids learn and how do they approach things, how do they know how to use their resources, how do they bring it all together in order to begin to make sense of the world around them on their own, uh, figuring out what they need help with and how they're going to move forward. I actually believe, as the head of a Jewish day school, that feels a great sense of responsibility for educating the next generation of Jews and for enrollment and wanting more children to get the benefit of this wonderful education that we have to take this very seriously. The idea of planning and creating customized programs for individual students is now much more realizable than it has been in the past. Just like adults collaborate on a piece of online work, share their opinions, mark their changes and pass it back and forth, the students as well now post their thoughts and reflections on an individual website where only the members of the class share. They're then responsible for the material that they've posted and dealing with everyone else's opinions about it. And they have to post, which means that they've got to respond, they've got to read and respect what their peers have to say, rather than being able to simply reject it if it's said by someone in class and they're not really paying attention or don't want to hear that person's opinion. All the kids in the next year or two will be required to bring to school an MLD, a mobile learning device, which is something I just learned. Um, uh, I even, I, when I teach my own class uh, in, uh, in Israel uh, advocacy, um, I even get annoyed now if, if half the kids don't have an MLD in their hand because I might forget a fact and they need to look it up. It's a tool like anything else that can be used for good, it can be used for bad. Um, and without guidance, like anything in life, these students need guidance and we need to partner with our parents to show them these are appropriate uses and these are uses, uses of technology that can actually enhance your education, help you grow, and these are inappropriate uses of technology. And clarify for that and model it for them. Um, and I think that's an area that as, you know, as this brave new world continues to uh, expand uh, is going to be a continual challenge, but it's something that we have to, we have to rise up to. A fascinating experience recently when I had my 14-year-old nephew come in for a shadow a day on the job. And I wanted to get a sense of access to technology. So I asked him how many emails he gets a day. And he said three or four. And I assumed he meant three or four hundred. No, he said, email is for old people. I'm so antique that, that my experience was pre-computers when I was in school. And my use of computers really happened um, when I was a doctoral student at, at that point. I'm old enough to have gone to undergraduate school where you had these little cards that you had to uh, punch, I guess is the word, and then feed into a huge computer and it took up a whole room. And then you made one error and you know the whole program didn't run. So I've seen quite a bit of transition as an educator um, and, and certainly a great transition in terms of what children are bringing. It's not, it can't be about students learning um, facts and being able to get the information and have right answers. It's got to be, we have to think differently. We have to think about how we make sure that they know how to access information and what they do with that, how to analyze it. You know, the why is the sky blue question is really a great question that, you know, we're not just going to say because or, well, it's a refraction, you know, and all this different stuff. We're going to say, let's find out. Let's explore. Let's break out the computer. Let's, you know, do all of these wonderful things to figure it out. And, and I think that's what our kids need for the future. 